Welcome back to Star Sector. JC here. Before we go any further, we obviously, because we've had a, a story moment, we have to do a log. <clears throat> JC's log. Uh, dates. I don't even care about the date anymore since whatever happened. It's the third log since we've been in this different universe. Having continued working with the UAF, we have been granted full cruiser access and promptly bought a new ship. We still need to uh, fill out the lower sizes of ships. That does seem to be a little lacking. But I was informed by our previous contact that Good words have been put in with all the right places to get us to our next contact. I didn't quite realize that uh, our next contact is most likely the Queen because she sent a message to us very soon after requesting our presence. Problem is, I have to go somewhere else first to get the authorization to do so. Hopefully, the contact also put in a good word with our certain friend here, Nia, to allow us to request an upgrade in um, access. End log. So yes, just gotta hope we've got the rep and would you look at it they've been sending reports back and her she's like yes i sent the right person on great hello um spark up a conversation converse uaf access i'll have the affiliate program Ah. ah, so you've heard about the affiliate program. Yeah. It's a new program proposed by the governing body in Favonus. Takes a sip of a, a sip of a cup before continuing. It's obviously tea. Are you interested in that? Favonus always has this abundance of supplies and fuels for some reason. So we are giving some of the, uh, some of them away. But you are still required to register. Based on my observation, you are actually legible for that. You want to register for the program? We just need to ask for your loyalty and to sign some of these papers. You can see some papers getting printed on the computer's tray. Yeah, sign those. It's nothing important, just basic stuff. Uh-huh. What I mean by loyalty is you, you have to be in a... Um, commissioned or you have to be in an alliance I think it works both ways sign papers right good you are now officially registered don't forget to visit for phonus to get your part every three months that's questionable uh, have another little chat Ask about making a branch of the interdimensional confectionery. No point, we don't have a base. Request an audience with the monarch. So this, the text will be as if, well, what the, the audacity, how dare you try and do this? And it's just like, in our version, it's like, hey, I need to see the, uh, I need to see the queen. W why? She sent me a message. Fine, authorized. <coughs> That's, that's our version of it, not the game's version of it. You want to have an audience with the Queen? The woman shakes her head in disbelief. I mean, we do acknowledge your contributions, but still, try and convince her. Woman sighs. Fine then, technically you are suitable, suitable to ask for such clearance anyway. Just don't do anything stupid while you are visiting Aurora. Also, make sure to bring more chocolate lava cake and send my regards to my daughter aboard the K 
capital guard. Okay. In reality, our version worked by a... Uh, I've been summoned, but I don't have access. Hi, friend. Authorised. Off you go. We've heard good things about you. But obviously... We go. We now... As it said, we now have... Uh, you have been given higher clearance. Clearance level by an administrative officer. Further interactions with the Aurora and Federation are now available. New Aurora and Lunamon are now accessible to you. Well, they were uh, accessible before, but what it really means is there's a contact available on them. Sort of. Need to ensure my ship won't mind me, armor. There we go. <laughs> It'd look poor to lose your flagship without insurance. Oh, what is that thing called? We're going to have to name it. Oh. Fly there. Fleet, what are you called? Uh, no. No. No, 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 no. I had a brilliant one before. I'm doing it again. Uh... came up with that name one time, so I'm using it again. <laughs> it's like, oh yes, it's a star. It also has other connotations. Like a certain set of crew members on board. Jupiter Mining Corporation. Stuff like that, you know. Technicalities. Come on. We spent enough of this episode, we need to actually get on and do things. I do still need to finish off the fit outfit on my ship, but it's it's one missile launcher, so Tom's <laughs> directory. Queen. Click. We have to wait three days. This is the problem with using the Queen as your contact. <sighs> they put this in, which means I now have to wait precisely three days, otherwise I have to wait again, and again, and again, and again. <laughs> it is... bollocks. So yeah. It's annoying because we now have to wait. And I can't go to the Robo Queen on the on Lunamun because you have to have a certain amount of rep with the Queen to be able to unlock her. So you have to go through the Queen. So you have to go through this annoying thing of Oh, but sorry, you're gonna have to just sit there and wait. I'm gonna go over here then. <laughs> Takes about a day to travel between the two. A bit ridiculous, but. Hello! Do you happen to have what I want? No, you don't. They don't have what I want, which is a medium-sized vocal SRM pod. It's basically the get away from me, you small, annoying little gnats. <laughs> Never mind, eh? They don't have it, so nothing I can do there. For back over here. Should have been the three days. It was the three days. Perfect. 
Okay. Open the comms directory, yes. We select the queen, yes. Access granted. Please proceed to space elevator to begin the descent in onto Aurora, not into. Technicalities. You knock on a door three times and wait until a voice from within breaks the silence. Ah, ingress. Uh, she sat uh, saying they sync in sync with the door's locks. As it clicked open, stepping inside. You feel an acoustic difference between the, the monarch's office and the rest of the building? Uh, someone's been fiddling around with the acoustics again. The feng shui and all that. Everything in the room was shaped and positioned perfectly in order to resonate with her voice's cloud-like tones. Well, welcome to New Aurora, JC. It is a true joy to meet the selfless ally of the Federation. I've heard so much about you these cycles. Or oh, this cycle. Actually, it's multiple cycles, but yeah. Technicalities. In fact, you've been surprising me ever since your first flights in our system. I'd be delighted to work more closely with you from now on. Excellent. If you haven't already, please feel free to visit Favonus and take a moment to relax. There is an ongoing program there to help fellow staff errors take their minds off the stress of hyperspace. And the ice cream is the most coveted <laughs> of this. Oh yes, in this or other universes. Opened up a map pointing at a water world not far from the Aurora system, or the AO system. There you go. Now, is this something I can help you with? Uh, you can't actually do anything with her until you actually convert this potential contact into an actual contact. So you have to cut the comm links, leave, pause, because you don't want time to move on. <laughs> potential contact. Right, uh, develop the contact. And you make them a priority, which means it's shared between these two, which makes her missions actually possible. So there's a trick I learned, because I took off the priority of that one in one and just left it on her, and her missions became... I was like, oh yeah, whatever you've got had multiple battle cruisers in it. It's like... I... I... I I'm in a cruiser! <laughs> it was like, uh... Yeah, I liked her missions more. So yeah, it's because it's a very high importance rather than just a high importance. <laughs> it's fine. So with that done, we can now go back. Hopefully not get clobbered again by the wait time. Devs! Devs of this mod! You, you... Little studs. <sighs> this is going to be a repeating thing. And you may very well find that the video will just transition into the screen with me talking to her if this happens more often than not. Because it is an absolute... Piss take. I mean, because she's a contact, she should. We should actually be able to skip this bullshit because she's one of our contacts. We've had to work our way up to this point. Miley skill get. That took forever. At least a month has moved on. Just you Debs. Why'd you put that in? Right. It took me a month to come see you again after our first visit. You better bloody have some work for me. Let's see, what have you got that's more manageable, first of all?
Oh, okay. No, that's 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 well within the price range. <laughs> All right, I can do that. Continue. It's a sorta cruiser destroyer. Yeah, we can take that. Okay. Is it an unexplored system? Please tell me it's an unexplored system. It's something I can actually go and do. It is an unexplored system, so there may actually be a reason to visit Favonus after this. Uh, I do really need a jump point somewhere up in here, but I have to go via here again. It's almost the same distance, really. <clears throat> but it saves on supplies. <clears throat> sort of. Okay. I'll take that. What do you actually want? Yeah, no. <coughs> Not my mainstay ships. Thanks, but no thanks. I do need to grab some fuel. That's 43, and that's 35. I don't think it'll make much difference. I can probably just fly up there. Oh, uh, looks like we've got a flying day. <clears throat> That's fine. That skipped for you guys, not for me. Right, I do need the fuel though, so I'm going to have to pay an exorbitant amount of money for their fuel. You, you rip off merchants. Rip off merchants. Oh, yeah, I never checked my storage, which is oh god, very empty <clears throat> at this point. It's rather empty. Never mind, eh? <clears throat> <clears throat> right. Uh, I need. Got, I got the fuel, didn't I? Got the fuel, I got the supplies. Uh, let's go. And see as I'm going to be manually flying there all that way, I will bring you back when we get there. My god, the amount of edits I'm going to have to put in this episode alone. Ugh. Well, welcome back. Uh, I did this a real quick and with next to no fuel because I just happened to find one of those short term slipstream generating events. It went basically from here straight up through here. And I hopped off and just did that bit. Nice and easy. Hold on. What do you want? glitchy rather than being sluggish systems. No. Right, we're almost there. Let's just go. Looks like it's an empty system, so not what I hoped. Okay, let's just have us a look. do have fighters. So I'm going to deploy both of mine. The new cruiser and both of those. And that's it for the top end. Uh, what we got? A pair of destroyers and then nine of those. Five. So Almost a full deployment. Almost. Right. 
I'm going in. These two are going in. And all the smaller craft are going in. Just to demonstrate how slow that thing moves, and that's with it boosted. Gadget point defense. My actual point defense was shooting at them, which is a neat trick. Get her lined up. Ah, missed. I haven't actually dropped the shields yet. Boom! Main cannons fired. Ah, oh, this lot should be able to handle that. Go ahead. Go ahead in this direction. Drop shields, turn. Activate the plasma jets, which is the first time I've activated those. Go fighters. And it. Oh, that was it. <laughs> I didn't do much. Says getting the biggest uh, XP bonus out of virtually everybody. I didn't do much. It's fine. It's fine. What have they got left? A tanker. All right then. Let them go. What loot did we get? Some stuff. A large, large ballistic. It's basically just an auto cannon. All right, take all. Salvage the area. Bounty's complete. Uh, lost three heavy machinery and gained two back. An armor plating blueprint. Lovely. That's what I need, eh? That goes in there. Take all. I can actually sell these somewhere, I think. Because I already know them, so there's no point. Um The system is empty. So I'm actually going to fly back to no, that there. I'll fly back to for bonus. Or at this point, if I have, my intention is to go to there, I can go to there, which is actually closer, and jump to there, and that will be it. There we go. We'll do it that way. We're going there. Right. I will probably bring you back when we reach uh, the confectionery store. Because, uh, yeah, go in there. Here we are, we're approaching Favonus. Wahey! Uh, storms, don't worry about it. Uh, I do need to go down to the dock side. Um. What? Oh, oh dear God! Special event, I think. Uh, take a shuttle down to the. Take a shuttle down to the main concourse and quickly find a likely-looking establishment. Because he's looking for a bar. 
As you enter the bar, you are baffled by the, the human white noise of conversation and revelry. Ad hollows buzz softly from, from ceiling mounted units, earning glarish highlights through glasses and bottles as spacer crews mingle with merchants and local trading uh, locals trading drinks or rumours, rumour, jobs and opportunities. As soon as you step into the light, faces turn towards you and a particularly burly patron stands and stares directly at you. You're still mid-threat assessment. Uh, assessment. <laughs> and the cheers break out. Captain JC! Yes! Someone shouts and spills half a mug of something. <laughs> As their companions raise their arms, it appears as though you have some admirers. Oh dear. Oh well, we might as well uh, join them. You join the crew at the table, and they're up. Uh, they're uproarious delight. Patrons shoving over to make room. <laughs> it's like, make room! Captain's coming through. Well, okay, if you insist. Like, the stage is yours. Why not use it? Give a speech. Or keep it humble and low-key. No, nope, speech. He's going to fully channel his shepherd vibes now. You leap up onto the table. And I handed a drink. Which you raise high. Uh, to a round of cheers. Speech! Speech! The crowd chants. Right. You make a show of reluctance before giving in. So, you can either focus on the local VIPs and tell some flattering anecdotes, or compliment the crowd and make connection with the crews. You're the star. Talk about yourself. Ah, uh, no. Crew! And you just get a whole bunch of crews come in and you get some points with the independents. Ah, you speak about the hard-working spaces that make everything you've done possible. Sharing a story of daring, danger and victory. Obviously it's got to be victory otherwise if it's daring, danger and defeat then nobody's really interested. Moments of quiet cheers or laughter come at the appropriate moments as you connect the experiences of your crew with the individuals at the tables around you. Sometime later, in a quiet corner, the bartender hands you a tall glass of cool water with a nod. And it's which you nod back. He's like, thank you very much, my man. Uh, your personnel officer pinged your data pad with a surprising message about a number of enthusiastic and slightly drunk spacers choosing to sign on with your fleet while wavering the usual contract sign-up bonus. Well, yes. 5, 19, 35. Well, they'll come in handy. Thank you very much. Refreshed and, th and things have quieted down. You have a, you have a, you have a chance to look around. Right, uh, what we do need to do is visit here. Would you like to claim them now? Oh, no, sure, claim. What do I get? Fuel! Thank you. Right, so it's going to be three months before I can get another one of those. Uh, yes. Da da da. Currently checking your eligibility. You are able. You are eligible for this period's affiliate rewards. Would you like to claim them now? Yes. Receive. Decided to receive the rewards. Ta da! Right. Visit the bar again. No. No, I'm not the uh, owner of the fleet that docked earlier. At the crowded booth at the beach. Oh god. 
Okay, this is another one of these ones where you can read for fucking ages, but it's basically... Uh, wait patiently in line. There you go, I got a bit of... Oh. Well, it feels like forever, yeah. Uh, hello there. Here's your free ice cream. No wonder there's a massive wait. Enjoy it. And have a wonderful time. Uh, a friendly face approaches you and hands you a glass of vanilla ice cream. The Queen's Gambit. It sure looks tasty as you look inside the glass. Don't worry. We've used hyper-insulated ingredients so your ice cream will always be cold as long as you don't as long as you don't melt it on purpose. Say thank you and return to the bar. Which means you can always grab one. Just go straight there and grab one now. Very handy. That will be stuck in our inventory for a rather long time. <laughs> it has a use. But we best do what we actually came here for. Other than looking at an officer. You do. You're aggressive and you have gunnery implants. I'm sorry, Matt. I don't need people like that. Hello? Um, trade hub. Thank you. I've got a lot of coins and I have a ship I need to purchase. There you go, before somebody complains anymore that I don't have one of these. Still gonna have a ton of credits left over, but you know, I got one. It's the only way to get hold of this vessel in actual fact. Few of the others you can actually just purchase uh, that one, that one, that one, that one. They do actually come up for purchase. The rest, not so much. I'm still going to save up for that one. <laughs> the Black Pearl. Just what? The amount of large guns on that thing is insane. But confirm. I now have one of those. Uh, I now need to visit here and have a look at my crew situation and go, yeah, no, I need more crew. <laughs> ah, good job I got some free crew, wasn't it? Oh, no, I don't need any more crew. Okay. Uh, yeah, I have more than enough, even with a spare. Oh. Oh. Oh, a minute. Swap that. Like that. Eh, that's just going to sit there forever now. It isn't going to melt, so... There is a whole load of text on that. And you can sell it for an amount somewhere. What's the point? Right, so we've got a new ship. I'll need to... It's called Blue Shift. Alright, that's fine. You can go in there. I do need to refit you. Uh, yes. Blue. Shift. There you go. It's correct now. Uh, I can fit it out later. Uh, do I even care about most of these? Mm, not really. Not Really? Uh, Weiss one micros, yes. Vocals to keep things off. Toners. Yeah, that looks fine armament wise. Uh, ECCM package. Maybe. But not really. I can agree with the weapons package at the very least, not the hull mods. So that'll give me nice something to get going and then... But not here. So I need two captains now. This one needs a very specific one. You kind of need to go for a... Um, not steady. I think it's a... Timid. timid cautious. That's it. Because timid's too far. You need a cautious one because then they'll use this as the main weapon. That's, that's the main thing. It's a delayed fuse bouncing bomb. It's a WMD. It is a nuclear bouncing ordinance. And on that note, looking at the time, 
Thank you for watching. Until next time, this is JC.